We've seen both Nick Okado Avocado and Matt Stoney inhale a week's worth of food in one sitting. However, there couldn't be a bigger night and day difference between their builds and bodies. So what has led to one becoming a renowned, popular fan-favorite YouTuber, while the other is viewed as a big-bellied behemoth? Let's find out. First, the most important and obvious point is diet. Did you know that the body is able to absorb a maximum amount of calories within a limited time frame? Based on the studies that show that the body has a maximum absorption rate of a variety of substances, the reasonable assumption is that the body would get to the point when there's too much food for it to absorb, so it would therefore get passed through the body. There are no official academic studies as evidence for this, but the general consensus of nutritionists online is that this is the case. The TLDR of this is that in a short time frame, the body can realistically only absorb 8 to 10,000 calories. I say only, but that's still a metric ton of food. Now why is this important to note if Nick Okado and Matt Stoney both consume similar amounts of calories in each sitting? Although they appear to eat similar foods on screen, it's what they do off screen that matters. When viewed on an individual or per video basis, they're not too different. However, when you stretch it out and take a look at the bigger picture with the frequency of how often they upload, it becomes much clearer. If you compare their channels, you can see Nick Okado upload frequently across all three of his channels. It almost equates to a daily meal. As much as you dislike the content that he puts out, you've got to respect the amount of hustle that he puts in. The man's pumping out more content than some of the top content creators, which is great news for views and money, but his health? Eh, not so much. There's no denying that this is his main diet now. Matt, however, does a challenge video a week, which leads to the question, What's Matt's diet outside of his videos? Like, you know, like in the off season, I'm just a normal guy, just eating normal food. In an interview with GQ, he stated that on normal days, he eats about 2,000 to 2,500 calories, which is just below maintenance calories for someone of his stature. He has also shared his typical diet on the normal days. Based on his videos, you'd expect large portions, but it's surprisingly small and healthy. We've all probably got a family member who's trying to keep off the weight eat more in one sitting than this man does on a regular day. Matt studied nutrition in college, so he's aware of all the different things that his body needs in order to stay healthy. Things such as antioxidants, fats, minerals, and vitamins, etc. Nick, on the other hand, continues to consume high-calorie junk food. This is an issue as it literally changes your brain. A UK doctor experimented with the effects of consuming processed foods for 30 days. These were the results. His overall weight went up by 6.5 kilos, his body fat went up by 3. There have been a multitude of studies showing that the brain's response to junk food is similar to cocaine. This moves on to the next reason beyond diet. Mentality Without proper nutrients, the body cannot produce the appropriate chemicals and hormones required for clear thinking and healthy mood, which leads to aggression, irritability, and even violent tendencies. As discussed earlier, there is an effect on Nick Okado based on the food alone, which affects his state of mind. It's like a chicken and egg scenario that feeds in on itself. It definitely started off with eating just a bit of junk food, however, it kept snowballing. The previous UK doctor that did the experiment did it for 30 days, but unfortunately for Nick, it's been much longer than that. Nick Okado views it as his comfort. It's what he instantly turns to whenever things get difficult. He has made it a coping mechanism for himself, and the sad thing is that he's become much more emotionally volatile because of his diet. Most people comment that he needs a personal trainer and to start exercising, but I think a therapist would be much more important to start. He first needs to deal with his underlying problems, ones that are much deeper than his fat. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! You want some therapy? Everything that Nick does seems like it negatively combines and they feed into each other. Unintentional pun. Creating a deeper and deeper rabbit hole that he can't escape. Even if Nick Okado wants to quit right now, the built up changes in his neurology would make it almost impossible with how he's addicted he's become to food. He'd probably have inexplicable cravings that he wouldn't be able to control. Matt on the other hand has an entirely different association with food. He's aware of the adverse effects, so that's why he keeps his body in as good of a shape as possible. It's only ever been a one-time thing for him. He views it as his career and a challenge to overcome. And he eats with purpose. From San Jose, California, Matthew Stoney. He's got the 
exercising. It's, it's hard to stay in shape, you know, as a competitive eater. It, it's, it's crucial though because, you know, a lot of the competitors up on stage, you know, they're not big guys, they're not heavy set guys like you'd think because uh, it's a 10 minute sprint when you go up there and, you know, I'm, I'm doing my cardio, I'm doing my weights. I'm no, I'm no Superman or anything, you know. Matt's exercise routine is infinitely better than Nick Okado's, where the only movement Nick Okado probably does is bat his eyelids, cry, and scream. <laughs> Even though Matt is consuming a large amount of calories, he has to spend it somewhere. If the calories go in, the calories must go out. Otherwise, you're breaking the laws of thermodynamics. In this house, we obey the laws of thermodynamics! Matt Stoney says that his exercise routine is to hit the gym five times a week doing cardio or weights. It really just comes down to diet and watching what you're eating after a contest. But I'm definitely in the gym five times a week doing cardio or weights. I've made this into my full-time job and I spend a lot of time taking care of myself. It's hard. It's not like we have superhuman metabolism. In having a routine training schedule, he makes it so that his body has a way to use up that extra energy consistently. When you train your body, it's able to burn more calories more effectively. Muscle tissue burns much more energy than fat tissue. That's just science. A shredded athlete would be able to burn off the same calories much quicker and better than an obese individual. Unlike Nick, Matt actually works hard, so his body is able to do what it needs to do. So in summary, here are the major differences between Nick Okado and Matt Stoney. 1. Although their diets look similar on screen, what they eat off screen is drastically different. 2. Matt burns much more calories and obeys the laws of calories in and calories out. In other words, he actually exercises. And 3. The foods that Nick Okado constantly eats is keeping him in a negative feedback loop to keep him eating while Matt eats in moderation. These are the differences that result in a drastic change in outcomes, as shown through Nick Okado Avocado and Matt Stoney. If you enjoyed this video, here's another one of my videos that you might like. If you like to see more videos about analyzing YouTubers, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.